everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. We're all set to bring you a terrific contest here as these two divisional rivals renew acquaintances for the first time this season. There's always a little something extra at stake when these teams face off. It's the Seahawks going up against the Rams. Now, for the first time since December 24th, 1994, it's time for a Los Angeles Rams home game. And here to call it are our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we haven't had NFL football in this city for 22 years, but football is back here in Los Angeles. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can... include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So they come into enemy territory. Nice drive to start the game, but they probably won't. It's first and goal. Now Riddick. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. They come out here in the eye. They go back to Riddick. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Theo Riddick, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Seahawks are able to strike for six. 
and they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there. the gun Smith he's got time in the pocket this will be caught at about the six six yards on the pickup and it'll be a second down and that's staying ahead of the chains really good pickup on first down hitting the tight end there now brings up a second and manageable just found a hole in that zone looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively Here's Smith now on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Normally he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Back to throw, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. And it'll be fourth down. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance that they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone in this compressed area of the field that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So two first-half field goals now for a guy who, and you hate to give him the tag, a journeyman, but it's fair to say, Charles, he's been around in his career. Yeah.
They come up in an offset eye. And once again, Hill, he's been busy. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. And able to find Dorsett. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Philip Dorsett, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. the option going right and he's going to get this one down to the 30 two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight and if you like defensive football focus on the defensive end on this play he does everything exactly right reads the play and now the rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout it's just their first they've got two more to use here in the final stages so here now is the kicker shane graham He's hit two, he's missed one. This for the win. And this one is right down Broadway. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? On the return, it's Niall Davis. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So a two-game losing skid here, Charles. Certainly not the end of the world. But really, they need to stop it right here. They've got to come together as a team. Can't just rely on the coaching staff to tell them to stop as a team. Get together, make up your minds. You're going to do things a lot better going forward and end this two-game losing streak. 
So for the Seahawks, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks ruin the Rams' grand return to L.A. as we say so long from Southern California.